my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and this is Danny, my husband. And we today are here in Salem, Massachusetts, the famous Salem. Mm -hmm. Just spent about 40 minutes looking for a parking spot being nice. and a bathroom, but yep. we made it and we found a spot and we're actually facing the beautiful harbor. I'm going to yeah. show you here in just a minute. If you are planning a trip to Salem, make sure that you plan ahead, get here very early so you can find better parking than we did. <laughs> that was our plan, but yeah, that's always our plan. So we figure we're going to take you along today and try to do a little shopping, a little eating, a lot of people watching, a lot, a lot of, of people, people watching. watching. So it is the best. Hopefully you're here for it. Let's get started. It's a rooftop view from our parking spot. We did park at the train and we decided next time we'll bring the train in. So probably should have thought about that this time. What did you come to Salem to do, Danny Klein? Eat, 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 and eat. So Danny and I parked near the train. If you are coming into Salem, a good suggestion would be to take the train in from another town if you can. Parking is insane and there are thousands of people that flock here every single Halloween and it just gets bananas no matter what day you come. I feel like any of the stuff you bring home would be haunted. So you need to destroy those but of course, Danny, we'll try to bring something home that's probably going to be haunted. Okay. What is it, Danny? It's a clock. And you know what I think of when I think of co clocks like that now? Um, yes. What? A creepy show. <laughs> I think of Vecna. <laughs> but I do like these pots. These are pretty cool. Um, Maybe some... Hooked on bass. Do you see our bass fishing game? VCR. Yeah, I have to buy one of those. I've officially lost him to the outdoor gear. Weights. Baseball stuff. Golf. Bags of golf balls, Danny. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll see you in an hour. He found a fishing pole. How much is it? I don't know. Seventeen dollars. Is it really? Don't tell me that. No, it's number seventeen. Twenty bucks. That's kind of cool. So, what does it say? Well, it, it has what do the tags say? What does it say? It's a fly pole. Rare antique collapsible fishing rod and reel. And a holding thing. That's kind of cool. I think it's just a mirror. Oh no, it's like, look at that's not a mirror, it's like a see through thing. Mm -hmm. Creepy! Cute. One of the most fun things about Salem during Halloween is the street performers. It's so fun to see people come down here and have different fun, cool talents. You can check out online to see what they have for every different weekend, and there's always something fun to come and see. We stopped into O'Neill's, which is a pub, to get a cocktail. I had this one here. It was the Polyjuice Potion if you are a Harry Potter fan, and it was absolutely delicious. It's always fun to pop into the pubs and the restaurants that you normally would go to during Halloween because they always look a little different. We also swung over to the Boston Burger Company to get the one thing Danny was dying for, and that is poutine. That group right there is doing a tour. Danny told me next year he's gonna get me a tour for my birthday. I told him it's never too late. Never too late. I got stung by a bee, y'all. On my finger. I thought something fell in my hair. And now it's giant. My ring's never gonna come off. Good thing I'm not allergic. I wanna go where the wind takes us, Danny. Let me see what you got. Should we sit down? Do you wanna pop a squat on this? Danny's been waiting this whole trip for this. <laughs> is it everything you hoped it would be? It is. 
after Danny got his poutine, we headed on down to my favorite shop in Salem, and that is Nocturne. They have the most beautiful items here, and I want to give a huge shout out to Salem with Sarah on TikTok. She works here at Nocturne and has an awesome TikTok page, so check her out. Thanks for being so sweet. Oh, Pick it out of there. All right. Don't touch them all, creeper. I gotta Cope it. Out. It's got to be mine. You'll go and stand your ground and prevail. <laughs> Oh. That's good for your work. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is mine? Your pride and prejudice. So true, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nocturne has some of the most beautiful items I've ever seen. During the month of Halloween, they had some extra spooky finds, which I absolutely loved all of these handmade candles. I had to grab one of these adorable little yarn pumpkins that were made here in Salem. So very sweet. I loved every single one of these gorgeous candles. I just love all of the detail that they put into all of their decor. And I just felt like every single display had something beautiful to look at and can always appreciate how much time and energy is put into these beautiful displays. If I lived in Salem, this is 100% someplace I would probably frequent weekly, <laughs> if not daily. Another one of my favorite things to do while we walk through Salem is just to look at all of the beautiful homes. Some of them are so beautiful that it's hard to believe somebody lives in them. Another cool thing to look at all throughout Massachusetts, to be honest, are all of the old cemeteries. That one had headstones dating back to the 1600s. There's always fun stuff to see in Salem, tons of different museums, antique shops, all kinds of fun different stores. This one here we went into, you could buy these cute brooms that were all handmade. There's just so much to look at and to see. And what's cool is while you're walking down the street, you'll also see dentists and stores so that you know people actually live here. Next up, we headed over to the Salem Common. This is a large park kind of in the center of the town where they have lots of different vendors and of course the thing we came here for and that's food we started off with some fried dough this is so delicious they were unfortunately out of all of the fruit toppings because this was a monday so we just got a plain cinnamon sugar one and walked around to all the different shops this is one of the locations where Hocus Pocus was filmed, so it's very cool. My kids love to come here. They've got a great playground and lots of fun places to play. More fun houses to look at. These were my favorite on our whole trip this time. They had such beautiful displays in the front, and this is one of those areas that just gets jam-packed during uh, the October month. So I just thought that these homes were gorgeous, not to mention all of the great decor that they have. I appreciated these pumpkins down on the bottom. I told Danny this is something I want to add to ours. And of course, these partying skeletons were so cute. And this beautiful traditional porch was my favorite of the bunch. And I just love, love, love to see everybody's gorgeous fall displays. There's always something gorgeous to look at. Next up, we popped into the Salem Witch Museum into their gift shop. I picked up this super cute Witch's Brew sign. I always try to find something there every Halloween for my uh, decor. I just like to kind of collect those things. Next up, it was time for our next snack. We did get a crepe. This is Danny's first crepe, actually. I love them. And we got Nutella and strawberry, and it was to die for. So incredibly good. It was super cool, too, while we were over there. I did meet a subscriber, sorry, so shout out to Angel and her sweet friend, Jennifer. I hope you guys enjoyed your visit to Salem. It was so nice to meet you, and I'm so glad you came up and said hello. So not only is Salem a cool place to go because of all the spooky history, but it's also just a really cool place to go and learn about the start of our country and just cool areas in our history. So definitely take your time to check it all out. 
We finished off our visit to Salem with a drive through town. This is another filming location from Hocus Pocus. You'll probably recognize it. And we just kind of drove around looking at all of the gorgeous brick stones and everybody's stoop decorations. Just so very pretty. And I wanted to finish our trip off with a trip to uh, Danny and Max's house from Hocus Pocus. But unfortunately, they have the entire road closed off. It didn't used to be closed off. And I've driven down before. If you follow me on Instagram, I've posted it on there. We try to go to Salem in the off season. However, I couldn't get away without stopping by. So we parked and walked all the way down the street. And there is the gorgeous view. If you didn't know, it's right on the water and so beautiful. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today on our little day trip to Salem. I hope you enjoyed it. If you ever get a chance, come check it out for yourself and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay spooky, my friends. Mm -hmm.